Hello, and welcome to Road Trivia, the best daily trivia quiz on YouTube. These 10-minute games each have 20 questions about the category of the day. The question is read aloud, then shown on screen. You'll have 7 seconds to shout out your guest before the answer appears. Come back each day around noon Central Standard Time for a new exciting quiz, and please let us know how many you got correct in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this quiz, please hit the thumbs up button. Alright, welcome back. Today's episode is number 90, 1980s Music Trivia. Good luck. Question number one. Who sang the title track of the late 80s James Bond film, License to Kill? The answer is Gladys Knight. Question number two. The pencil sketch animation technique used in the AHA video, Take On Me, was known as what? The answer is rotoscoping. Question number three. What was the first album ACDC released after the death of lead singer Bon Scott? The answer is Back in Black. Question number four. What 1983 Tom Cruise movie featured Bob Seger's old-time rock and roll? The answer is Risky Business. Question number five. In 1986, which Billboard Hot 100 number one song was sung by the Bangles? The answer is Walk Like an Egyptian. Question number six. This 1980 Billy Joel classic began with What's the matter with the clothes I'm wearing? Can't you tell that your tie's too wide? The answer is still rock and roll to me. Question number seven. What 1982 album from Michael Jackson went on to become the second highest selling album of all time? The answer is Thriller. Question number eight. Queen started out 1980 with their first U.S. number one hit. Which song was it? The answer is Crazy Little Thing Called Love. Question number nine. What Rick Springfield song about a guy pining for his best friend's gal was inspired by the singer's real life experience? The answer is Jesse's Girl. Question number ten. In 1980, who had the Billboard Top 40 pop singles number one hit, Funky Town? The answer is Lips Incorporated. Question 11. In what 1982 John Cougar Mellencamp song is Sucking on chili dogs outside the tasty freeze, a date idea. The 
The answer is Jack and Diane. Question 12. What movie soundtrack from the 1980s won an Oscar, a Grammy, and sold more copies than any other soundtrack that decade? The answer is Purple Rain. Question 13. Billboard named which Wham! song the most popular record of 1985? The answer is Careless Whisper. Question 14. Which female singer scored a hit titled They Don't Know and later had a TV show that introduced The Simpsons? The answer is Tracy Ullman. Question 15. Who sang The Goonies Are Good Enough for 1985's Goonies movie soundtrack? The answer is Cindy Lauper. Question 16. Madonna's first number one U.S. Billboard Hot 100 single was which track off an album of the same name? The answer is Like a Virgin. Question 17. What song is best known for being played during the opening and closing credits of the John Hughes film, The Breakfast Club? The answer is, Don't You Forget About Me. Question 18. Who sang the 1982 one-hit wonder, Come on, Eileen. The answer is Dexie's Midnight Runners. Question 19. Hey Mickey, You're So Fine You Blow My Mind are lyrics from which popular 1980s singer? The answer is Tony Basil. Question 20. What popular 1980s song by Toto begins with the lyrics, I hear the drums echoing tonight? The answer is Africa. Alright, that's it for today. Thank you for watching the latest episode of Road Trivia. Come back tomorrow for the last trivia quiz of March. March. We'll do one more musical themed quiz and then find some new categories to start off April with. See you tomorrow.